Hello, so in today's video, we're going to look at uh, quadratic inequalities, uh, and we're just going to look at one example in today's video. So we're going to look at solving this inequality here. Uh, so 2x squared minus x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 8x plus 2. Uh, and similarly to the last video, we're going to solve it, give the answer in set notation, and then give a graphical interpretation of this inequality. Uh, so let's start with part A. So we're going to start off by solving it. Uh, so we've got, yeah, so 2x squared uh minus x minus three and that's greater than or equal to uh 8x plus two okay so uh it's a quadratic inequality because of this quadratic term there and we uh when we rearrange this so when we take away 8x from both sides uh we get minus 9x minus three is greater than or equal to two and then when we take away the two from both sides we get 2x squared minus 9x minus five is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, so yeah, this is a quadratic uh, expression there. So this is a quadratic inequality. Um, how would we now solve this? Um, so in the same way we would uh, attempt to solve a, a normal quadratic equation, uh, we can just use fact, we, well, we can attempt to use factorizing. Uh, we could use completing the square to find uh, the coordinates of the roots, um, or we could use the quadratic formula to do the same. Um, but with this example here, uh, we can actually factorize this or attempt to factorize it. Uh, if we put a 2x in there, and if we put an x in there, uh, what factors uh, of minus 5 are going to add in this expansion to make this minus 9, 9x there? Uh, well, if we put a minus 5 there and a plus 1 in there, we see that 1x and minus 10x from there do make uh, negative 9x. So this expansion works. And this is greater than or equal to zero. So at this point here, what I would recommend is actually sketching the graph y equals 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. Um, and we can sketch it because now we see what the linear factors are of this expression because we factorized it. And we can see that we have roots. So the roots, just by looking at our work here, we can see the roots are going to be at x equals negative 1 over 2 and x equals positive 5. Just by solving this equals 0 and this equals 0 here, we get those roots. So we've got, we're going to have a root at uh, half, negative half, and a root at 5 over there, uh, over here. So we've got uh, those two roots. Uh, we've got a y-intercept of minus 5 from that. Uh, so we can actually just roughly sketch this. So uh, something like this, perhaps, with minus 5 there. Okay, so where is this graph greater than or equal to zero? Well, we can see that the graph, just by the sketch of the graph, that this curve is greater than zero. So it's greater than the x-axis, strictly when x is greater, uh, when x is less than or equal to a half. So when x is in this region here on the x-axis, we get uh, values of this expression here greater than zero. We can see that by the graph. And when x is greater than or equal to five, the same happens. We get a graph, a sketch, which is greater than the x-axis. So in other words, this expression is greater than zero for these values greater than five here. So um, we can see by the sketch of the graph that we're going to get a solution as follows. We're going to get x is less than or equal to negative half, and also x is greater than or equal to five. Obviously, I'm keeping this, uh, this equal to sign there and there uh, just because uh, we've got the greater than or equal to sign there. So we've got to include that in our two solutions. So that would be our solutions. So that, that would be an acceptable solution. Uh, so part B is now to give the answer in set notation, the solution in, in, in set notation format. So the solution in this case would be the set. So again, curly brackets, the set of X values um, in the real numbers such that X is less than or equal to negative half in union with x being greater than or equal to five. Um, so we can use this union notation to denote this because, um, yeah, because it's the union of x being less than a half uh, with x being greater than or equal to five. Um, so either one of these, so either that event or this event here, um, that's why we can use the union notation. Uh, we can just say it like this, actually. We can just say uh, the event that x is less than or equal to half uh, in union with this event here, that x is greater than or equal to five. Uh, so we can write it like that as well. Both of these would be um, 
both of that would be acceptable. Um, I mean, really, I should put curly brackets there as well, and curly brackets there as well. Um, so yeah, that would be fine. Uh, and then part C, the graphical interpretation of our result. Um, so yeah, if we go, if we think about what we've got originally up here, uh, just write down here, graphical interpretation. So yeah, so we've got uh, one curve on the left-hand side. So this is our left-hand side. Uh, and this up here is our right-hand side. Um, so we've got uh, 2x squared minus x minus 3 greater than or equal to 8x plus 2. So what we're saying is essentially for what values of x is y equals this expression there greater than or equal to y equals this expression there. So if we sketch the graph, first of all, the graph uh, y equals 2x squared minus x minus 3. 2x squared minus x minus 3. Um, so we're going to have a, a y-intercept of minus 3 down there. Um, our roots, I mean, if we try to factorize this, I don't know if we can factorize this actually, but let's just check. Uh, x there, 2x there. Um, I mean, if we put a, uh, we want to make minus 3, so I guess if we put a uh, positive 1 in there and a minus 3 in there, that would work and give us a factorization. So we see we've got a solution at 3 over 2, somewhere there, and negative 1, somewhere there. Uh, so we know that the graph of this is going to look something like uh, this, roughly. Okay, so we've got that curve. And then the uh, the, uh, the line of y equals 8x plus 2, so that's just a straight line. Uh, Y-intercept of 2 and a gradient of 8. So let's just say something like this, quite a steep line, quite a steep gradient. Uh, something like that. Okay, so uh, what can we see? What can we say from here then? So uh, where? So basically, this inequality is saying that two x squared minus eight uh, minus x minus three is greater than or equal to the eight x plus two there. So where is this curve? This quadratic curve greater than um, or equal to this curve here? Well, what we can see, um, I mean, it's not a very good diagram here, but essentially. What our result here is telling us is that when x is less than or equal to a half, so when x is less than or equal to a half, so this intersection point there, then this curve is greater than the red line. So the curve is greater, and we can see that by the diagram. The curve is bigger, has a bigger y coordinate than the uh, the, the y coordinate of the red line. And also, I mean, again, this is not a very good sketch. But essentially, this this curve would continue upwards like this. The straight line uh, would go like that. You're going to have a point of intersection there, um, and that point of intersection should be five, um, because that's what our result here, here is telling us. So when x is greater than five, we get also this uh, this curve uh, going above the straight the red straight line. So therefore, yeah. So the graphical interpretation is that when uh, so when x is less than or equal to negative half and when x is greater than or equal to half, the curve, uh, sorry, let's write this again. So the curve y equals 2x squared minus x minus 3 is greater than, so greater than the line y equals 8x. Plus two, so that's our graphical interpretation of what this inequality is telling us. Um, so yeah, we solved it. We gave a set notation answer, and we gave a graphical interpretation of what the inequality is actually uh, telling us.